हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू टेक मी डिवोटेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू गाइस फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी प्लीज़ लाइक कमेंट शेयर वीडियोस एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल टू गेट अपडेट वन ऑफ आवर ऑडियंस सजेस्टेड मी इन कमेंट्स टू एक्सप्लेन ओवर लोडिंग एंड ओवर राइडिंग इन जावा ऑल दो यू विल गेट लॉर्ड्स ऑफ स्टप ऑन दिस आई विल डू ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इन सिंपलेस्ट मैनर गाइज Suppose you have one pencil. Why should we suppose we must have a pencil, right? Now, its main purpose is to write on paper, right? Now, it can be used to put waste fastener in trouser, and many people does that, isn't it? This is nothing but overloading of right method of pencil. Now. Let's consider you got some farm from your ancestor, and your ancestor used to do farming or harvesting on that land. Now, as we are new generation, we thought let's open a shop here, and suppose the location is nice to open the shop. So, actually, you are overriding the method of farming to open a shop. This is overriding. Let's understand this with Java code. I have written code already to save some time. I have a error class, and I have written one class overload demo. So let's open this. So here is the overload demo. This is the demo class to illustrate overloading. Now. We have a method here, pencil method. Ah, uh, let me increase font. I have shown this in my previous video how to do that. It's very simple. This one text font, then edit, and then this code is fine. No, it is uh, more usable now, right? So here is the method pencil, and uh, as I described earlier, uh, with an example, I have taken same example in our code also. So here is the this method, and uh, this method uh, we are printing to write. Okay, now here is our second method. Which is overloaded method of this. So it is taking an argument, string argument, and it's printing to put waste fastener in our in trouser. Now, in main function, uh, we have created object of overload demo. Now we are calling demo dot pencil and demo dot pencil with string argument. Now, if we run this. If we run this only demo dot pencil, then our application save. So here, here we go. We get to write. Okay. Now, if I uncomment this and run both, I didn't uh, comment demo dot pencil without argument also. So let's see. Here we will get to write for this function and to put waste fastener in trouser in for uh, this method calling. Now let's understand in a in a bit detail. See, this is the pencil. We should have first of all we should have same method name to get uh, overloading. Okay, we should have same uh, method name and we should have. There is must be difference between this parameter. Either we could have same parameter, but type will be different. Otherwise, uh, if it suppose here we don't have any parameter, here we have a string parameter. We can have here int also. It should be different. And there is nothing to do with this return type. If I can show you, suppose we copy this and put it here. See. This is same. If we change it, int, it, it can't. It's the same method. So 
we cannot do overloading by changing this return type right so this is the basic thing of overloading now we come to overriding now we have another uh, another class override demo i again i have written this code to save some time <coughs> now see i have described in our example that we have farming from our ancestors means what means the farm we got is inherited from our ancestors so there must be inheritance relationship to get the functionality of overriding so here i created one class parent demo and there is another class override demo which extends parent demo i hope you know inheritance concept so here the parent demo i have written one method farm and here we are printing to do farming as i explained earlier uh, our ancestor to do, uh, used to do farming that lad now here what we do in uh, child class we have written open a shop okay now now in main function in main method what we we did we uh, created object of parent demo see guys this is object you must know this this is object and here is the reference so we can take a reference of parent class and we can uh, put object of child class or parent class into that so here i did the same so i am calling parent dot form right now i created another object of override demo means child class using the same reference of parent class parent demo child child is the another reference variable of the type same type parent demo now i am calling child dot form so see when <coughs> this is the object of parent demo and we are calling parent dot form then we will get to do farming this one will be called but when we will call this child dot form means what you are overriding overriding the form method so what will be uh, the output open a shop let's run this we will get this one see first sorry see first one is to do farming second one is open a shop right now there are many things many concepts related to overriding which i'll try to explain in our upcoming videos but here is the basic only so this form this form right so here is the uh, here is something you should know that here form and form method name will be same and argument will be also same type here we don't have argument here we have argument if we change this then uh, this is not overriding so hope guys it is clear and hope you like this video if you like this please uh, give a thumbs up and give your valuable comments and if any suggestion you would like to share uh, you are welcome thank you guys.